Hey, crypto friends, for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the veracity charts and we're going to see where it might be headed and we will cover both bullish and bearish scenarios as well, just to simply cover all of the possibilities. And towards the end of the video, I will go ahead and cover the overall macro structure of the overall altcoin market as well. Now, for those of you who love trading crypto and would like to try out the same crypto exchanges that I use on a regular basis, feel free to go ahead and try out either the Mexi exchange or the Blowfin exchange with the links in the video description down below this video. Now, some of the reasons why I love using both of these exchanges, here they are. Um, the reason why I love using Mexi is because they have some of the cheapest taker fees in the entire industry, which is very, very nice, all right? Now, the reason why I love using the Blowfin exchange is because they allow anybody from any country to be able to trade crypto futures on it. So if you're from the United States and you want to trade crypto futures, you can do it on Blowfin. And this is actually where I have been trading uh, crypto futures lately as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the veracity chart, all right? So when we are looking at veracity here on the daily, uh, we can clearly see that veracity has really taken a pretty big beating, all right? It has definitely taken a beating and it's down quite a bit right now from where it was earlier in, earlier in, earlier in March, which was up at like, you know, uh, one and a half cents, all right? Right now we are about, um, we're, we're pretty far down from there, all right? But the good thing that we can clearly see is we have got, we are trading within a falling wedge right here, all right? And everybody knows with a falling wedge, eventually it ends up breaking out to the upside, okay? Which that's obviously what we want to see happen here, okay? So in a bullish scenario, what I could see happening here is we end up gaining enough momentum to break out of this wedge right here and end up going up and retesting this resistance level here of 0 0.0069, all right? And once we hit this, we'll probably end up, obviously momentum might not be high enough yet we'll probably end up going back down and correcting a little bit to this level right in here before gaining momentum to break through it and go up to the next resistance level overall the what we want to see here is we want to start seeing some higher lows being created so we want to go up and then we want to create this higher low right here on a small correction and then we want to go up to this resistance level right here of 0 0.0082 and then go back down and come back down here and retest this new support level of 0 0.0069 create a new higher low um or create a new yeah, a new higher low and then bounce off and go up to the next resistance area right up here of 0 0.0094 and then just continue to repeat that process all the way up, okay? And continue to create higher and higher lows going all the way up. That's realistically what we want to see going on here with Veracity, okay? Now, with the overall altcoin market, con uh, considering it's been down for so damn long, um, I personally foresee that we have definitely got we, I think we've definitely got some momentum coming ahead at some point in time. Now, when that's going to happen, I have no idea, guys. I can't see the future. I wish I could. Um, I'm not a magician, though, so I, I really don't know. We can only speculate what's going on here based on what we see on charts, okay? But let's go ahead and take a look at the RSI. Now, what the RSI is telling us here on the daily chart is we are entering neutral territory down here, which is nice to see, but because that, uh, that means we are obviously gaining momentum slowly, but definitely surely, okay? Now, uh, when we go ahead and take away the RSI and go ahead and look at the Bollinger Bands, we can see that the bands are very, very skinny, all right? Which tells us that, okay, when they usually tells us when the bands get skinny, um, a big move is coming up very, very soon, okay? Now, when that's going to happen, obviously, we don't know, okay? But when the bands get skinny, there's usually a big move that's going to be coming soon, all right? And hopefully, that's going to be to the upside, all right? Now, with the EMAs, um, EMAs, obviously, we want to be trading above all of the EMAs, and right now we are trading uh, below all of the EMAs, but again, once we start gaining momentum and we start to break out of this uh, this falling wedge right here, we will start making our way up to these EMAs and start to, you know, hopefully break them and get above them, and that's overall what we want to see going on here, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the overall macro structure of the overall altcoin market. Now, What's cool about what I'm seeing here and what we have been seeing in the past few days is, I mean, yeah, we had one big giant green dildo candle followed and now we've got followed or now we followed it up by having uh, four straight days in a row of, you know, altcoins continuing to drop, which kind of sucks. But I mean, realistically, it's a good thing because 
Um, what I see happening here is we created a higher, we, we created a low here, and then we created another higher low here, and then we created another higher low here, and I'm hoping that this is the next higher low, and we end up um, we end up going up even higher from here. That's overall what I want to see here, okay? But I personally will not start to feel extremely, extremely bullish on the overall altcoin market until we end up passing this level right up here of 700 and right around the 788 billion dollar um, uh, market market cap range for all altcoins okay so guys uh, before i go ahead and wrap up this video if you guys enjoyed this video and got some value out of it please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit the like button below the video to help me out and leave me a comment down below on your thoughts on where you personally think the price of veracity might go in the short term and with that said for those of you who stuck around and watched throughout the entire video thank you guys for watching i appreciate you guys and i hope to see you all in my future videos